The proliferation of digital technologies such as 5G, IoT and AI has increased the vulnerability of both digital and cyber-physical infrastructures in almost all sectors of society. Cyber threats range from data breaches, denial of service attacks and ransomware, to misinformation intended to destabilise countries. The mobile phone that you carry in your pocket is a microphone, it's a camera, it senses your heartbeat, it senses your mood. It's always on and it's always connected. That's the holy grail of information gathering. Through the analysis of data from past incidents and the application of machine learning, we can see an important trend in cybersecurity solutions to move from monitoring and protection to prevention. We have to manage the full cycle. The full cycle is uh, prevention, is actually handling the accident and also exposed learning from what happened. Online platforms are data intensive and put the protection of personal information at risk. With GDPR, Europe has shown leadership in addressing the issue of privacy and data protection. Many countries are also trying to filter content on social media platforms to detect misinformation and fake news. We've realised that uh, people's perception could be manipulated online, so we could have a threat to democracy. The problem we face is our citizens that are unaware that they are being manipulated. You can see a video and wonder if it's uh, true or not. With nations now attempting to fight antagonists in cyber wars, this area has an increasingly geopolitical dimension to it. We have witnessed an attack against an oil site in Saudi Arabia uh, two years ago that basically could have sent the stock of Saudi Aramco to the bottom overnight and actually have slowed down their, their public, li public listing of about two years. So there are definitely geopolitical situations that can uh, impact big time our economy. Europe is well advanced on data protection, but should step up in both cyber intelligence as well as the protection of vulnerable emerging cyber-physical infrastructures, such as Industry 4.0 or autonomous mobility systems. Mm -hmm.